Okay, Scott, last night I was with the Sniper Hog Light people, shot about a 180 pound boar. And I want to emphasize boar because people thinking all oh, them boars, whenever you shoot them, you know, they ain't no good, just leave them laying. Well, that's all kind of wrong. You're wasting a lot of good meat. So, what I'm going to end up doing, I got this Orion chest. I put 30 pounds of ice in there and about a gallon and a half of water and three cups of salt. So I'm gonna end up brining this boar for like five days. And went ahead and separated things out. Now this is just some of the trimmings that you're gonna end up with whenever you're preparing your meat to grind for sausage or chili or whatever. You can see there's a little bit of blood in it. What this salt is gonna do people are all into this dry aging and all that. Well, I'm not. I'm not one of that camp. I kept these shanks separate because there's a lot of tendons in there. I'm going to be doing some uh, really fancy sausage. So I don't want that in there. I also kept one of these shoulders intact. The other one I burned out. Breaking that hog down, you're gonna, there's glands that back by that hind quarter that's on the outside. Well, there's also glands inside here. And you see all this white stuff here? I'm gonna trim all that out. That's whenever you got your holiday ham and you cut into the middle of it and you see some stuff in there that you can't identify. Well, that's what this is. So I cut it all out, but this little bit here so I could show you. And Inside that hind quarter, you can see that pea-sized gland. Get that thing out of there too. You don't want any kind of glands in there. You want to get all that silver skin off of there because you want that salt to penetrate all this meat. Because what's going to end up happening is I had a, a doctor explain this to me. What that salt does is it goes inside the red blood cells and what that does is it explodes them so every bit of blood that's in there is going to come out you know it's forced out by that salt especially when you let it set five days like that and whenever we go to the next stage of this I'm going to show you a little trick everybody that's froze any kind of venison or whatever Whenever you thaw that package out, you see that blood in there. When you brine it, all that blood that's all going to go away is going to stay in that salt water. Now, if you had some really bloody meat, now this hog was neck shot, the bullet turned and it busted a shoulder. So there was a little bit of blood there, we trimmed all that off, but this water, you just keep adding ice to it, keep that meat submerged in there, and then you know, whenever you're through with the process and you freeze that meat, well, you're not going to have all that blood come out. You ain't going to have that blood in your sausage. You ain't going to have it in your ground meat. You ain't going to have it in your roast because it's all coming out because of the salt in here. So you can dry age stuff if you want, but I ain't going to do it. This is the way Buddy T does things, and we'll show you why. All right, next episode. But as filming, we're going to show you what I do after it's through brining for five days. Okay, Scott, we're on day four. We're going to have to go and cut this five-day brine to four days because some stuff come up i got to go take care of. And I need to get this meat finished up. But after four days, now I know, you know, it had salt in it, so it makes it a lot colder. But you can see how the color of this water has changed. It's pulled all that blood out of there, and that salt is tenderizing it. So the next step is, is to drain this off and wash that meat real good, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it next. Okay, Scott, I wash this meat off, but the most important thing is, like right from the beginning, is to get that meat chilled down. I'm going to move kind of quick now, and I'll show you what I end up doing with it next. Okay, Scott, this is the next step I go through. 
put that Arctic ice in there with some cookie sheet racks. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and add that meat back to it. Because you want to get all, let it go ahead and drip off. We're going to be processing this meat, um, getting ready to grind it or put it up like it is. You want to rinse it off really well after that brining process because it's going to have some salt on it. You're going to want to remember whenever you're cooking this later on that there's going to be salt in this meat so you're not going to have to add as much salt to your recipes. You can see how pretty and pink that meat turned out looking. And this is something that we're going to be trimming off now. That salt jelly, that stuff up, I had that all trimmed off. All that will come off so that that meat's ready to grind or do whatever you want with it. But we've got to get this excess moisture off of it. So, we're going to close this up now. And uh, chest is all still good and cold from the brine. And these little pieces like that, they're kind of hard, difficult to fool with in there. So we're going to put them in this colander and uh, put them in the refrigerator. All these shanks, that'll be packaged up separate by themselves because I like to pressure cook those. Makes a really good, really good dish, those uh, pressure cooked flanks. And I don't care what people say about pressure cookers. That's one thing that you need to cook these things. Crock pots is one thing, but that pressure cooker sure does speed things up. All right, we'll be coming back to you in a little bit. Okay, Scott, you can see we put that Arctic ice in here. And it's set about, oh, 12 hours. And that meat's actually frozen. So, or lightly frozen. It's not froze all the way. But this is what you want to be able to get the last of that silver skin off of there. And do your final trimming before you vacuum seal it. So, I think this shows everybody that Arctic Ice and Orion is a heck of a team together for processing your own meat. Now I'm gonna break out the, the food saver, vacuum pack all this stuff up and we're gonna make our sausage a little bit later. <laughs> 